Brain injuries are one of the hottest topics in the news today. And for good reason. The brain is a very delicate organ, but with large hits as well as an accumulation of small hits over years, that delicate organ can break down and degrade into something called chronic traumatic encephalopathy. Head injuries occur in almost all sports. This is a little known fact. People forget that sports like ice hockey, girls lacrosse, boxing, and peewee football also have head injuries over time. The second most common sport with concussions? Girls soccer. So with this, the big question is, what is the treatment for these injuries? Well, it's not impressive. Right now, the only recommendation is rest. The athlete is taken out of the game and he or she takes time to rehab to come back. So here's an obvious question. How do we initially treat almost all other injuries? Well, it's ice, of course. Heck, athletes have been using ice after practice and for injuries for years, all with beneficial effects. So this is not new. So the biggest question should be, is there any research that supports icing your head for brain injuries? Well, there has been. For about 50 years, something called therapeutic hypothermia has existed and has done real well on such animals as rats, but also for humans as well. In humans, whole body cooling in severe traumatic brain injury, as well as something called selective brain cooling, especially in infants, shows very promising research. But it's in the rat research that most of the incredible studies have been done, showing that selectively icing their head after a brain injury shows remarkable benefits. So now, athletes may want to consider icing their brain as well as the rest of their body after practice to protect themselves from some of those hits that accumulate after long days on the field. With all this information, the question should be, why not ice your head then? Well, we don't know why you wouldn't. We do know that it has to be easy to use, and using something like they did for headaches in the old days, well, that's just not going to do the trick. In comes Dr. Douglas Frego, MD, inventor of the knee saver. You know, that product catchers wear in the back of their calves to protect their knees when they squat? He formed a product with a company called All Star, which may be the first acute treatment for head injuries. Working with specialized engineers, Dr. Douglas Frego and Stan Jurga Jr. at All Star came together to form a product that may revolutionize how athletes are treated for minor as well as severe traumatic brain injuries. It's called the Cryo Helmet. The reason they came up with this product is obvious. The research is there, with more to be done. There's no negative consequences of using ice. And lastly, no other acute treatment for head injuries exists other than ice. So why not use it? Now all athletes, no matter what the sport, if their head gets hit small amounts over and over again or one large hit, they have a product to use after practice and games. The most important lesson today is no matter what sport you play, if your brain gets hit, please consider icing your head. We hope the cryo helmet can play a part in that in the future.